Today, I'm going to show you how I made this experimental typography design using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. First, in Adobe Illustrator, make a new artboard that is 11 inches wide by 8.5 inches high. Next, I'm grabbing my rectangle tool and making a square. I'm holding Option plus Shift to maintain proportions. Next, select your square and make a copy by clicking Command C. This will copy it into your clipboard and we will use it later. Next, with your square shape selected, click Command 5 to make guides. Now press Command F to paste our shape. This will paste the shape in the exact same spot. Now with the new shape selected, go up to Object, Path, Split into Grid. Make sure to click Preview and we will use a 12 by 12 grid. And go ahead and click OK. Now click Command 5 to make this grid into a guide. On a new layer, we're going to make a square the size of our grid, or you can press Command F to paste the shape square again. Now with your text tool, go ahead and type your quote. And in my case, I'll be adjusting some of the parameters, such as the letting. I'm also using one of my favorite fonts, Europa Bold, and I'm decreasing the size so that it can fit in one sentence and I'm highlighting my text to make a copy and paste it using Command V. Now in my layers panel, I'm cleaning up my layers a bit by renaming them, making a copy because I will expand my text. And when you expand text, that means it turns into shapes and it is no longer editable, but it's always good to have a backup. With your text layer selected, go up to object, select expand, and that turns it into shapes. Now I'm going to adjust the size of my text by holding shift and I'm also thinking that the letting is too much meaning that the space between the lines is too wide so I made a copy and I pasted it and I repeated that step. Now in my layers I will turn off the square box around my text. Let's jump into Photoshop now where we will make a canvas that is 5 inches by 5 inches. Now go up to file, place, embedded. A window will pop up, make sure you press bounding box and click OK. Now make any final adjustments and press place. Next go up to filter, liquify and in this new window you'll be able to liquify your text by pressing on it with your mouse. I'm going for a drip effect or a melting effect so I'm liquefying a lot towards the bottom and less at the top to sell the illusion that the text is actually dripping. And that about does it for this video. If this helped you out, please like and subscribe and comment and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Until next time, have a good day.